One very important thing when onboarding an invitation client is to meet with your client. I know we're in the middle of a worldwide pandemic right now, so meeting with your client is not always an option or to meet with them in person. But either have a Zoom meeting with them or a phone call. It's absolutely imperative. I think that there's you can give somebody a questionnaire, but there's no better way to really know who they are and their personalities than to meet with them in person. So I love doing happy hour with my clients. I have had some of the best like margarita and taco dates with some of my (laughs) potential clients. Um, and all of those turned into them being my clients, but do whatever you want, have a coffee date, do a zoom meeting, but you really just need to get to know your clients. Now, I wanted to share with you some questions that I like to ask. I do want to say that I do send a questionnaire. It's actually on my website. When people want to hire me for custom invitation suites, they fill out a questionnaire and I have some general questions on there such as, um, what day are you getting married? Of course, super important. Where's your wedding venue? If they want to share their story with me, or share their wedding website with me. They have that option. I also ask them if they have a Pinterest board or a color palette. And one of the most important questions I ask is what their budget is. I have a drop down with four different tiers of pricing that they can choose from. This really helps me from running into the issue where somebody wants to hire me, we meet together, and I find out that their budget for wedding invitations is $800, where my minimum is $2,000. And in this situation, it's a bummer because you just wasted like two hours of your time meeting with them when they can't even afford you. So I really highly suggest having your budget on your website. If you don't want to give them an exact budget right away because there's a lot of variables that you want to discuss, at least have a range on your website so you can get a general idea of their budget. So here are the questions I like to ask when we get to meet together. Um, Obviously, number one, how did you meet? Where are you getting married? Wedding date? Um, You might already know that information. If they already gave that to you, make sure you bring that information up so they know that you listen. (laughs) Two, what's your engagement story? I love to hear how people got engaged. It's a special, really, really special time and people love to tell you the story. So it's good to ask. Third, what do you like to do together? Do they like to play sports together? Do they do art together or ceramics? Do they just like, you know, are they Netflix and chill kind of people? An important question to ask. Next, what do you do for work? I know this might seem like a kind of weird question and you can phrase it however you like to your potential client, but one of my clients, um, they the couple was an oceanographer and then the, um, or she was a marine biologist and the, her fiance was a um, diver in the Navy. So their careers were really important in how they met and I wanted to incorporate that in their invitation suite. So I ended up doing some really cool watercolor artwork for that. Um, that's why I like to ask what they do for work. I think it, it can be helpful. It can also help you understand why they might not be responding to you. I have clients who are nurses who work that 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. shift, and um, they're exhausted during the day, so they're not going to respond to me at 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Another question, how do you want people to feel when they get your invites in the mail? This is super, super, I know I'm saying all these are important, but this one is very important because... Mm-hmm. Do they want people to feel like they're getting invited to this big party? Do they want people to feel like this is a very elegant, sophisticated event? Do they want people to feel um, excited? You know, those types of things. What vibe do you want for your, your wedding to have? Some people, again, they want their wedding to feel very sophisticated, elegant, high class, Some people, myself included, I wanted our wedding to be like an outdoor or a backyard party. So everybody has a different vibe that they want for your wedding. It's a great question to ask. Another one is, are there any hobbies or activities you really enjoy together? They might go into that a little bit when you ask what you do together, but try to understand them as a couple. What do they like to do? Are they really active? Are they more, are they into wine tasting? Um, these questions become important as well if you're the type of um, 
person who likes to buy a gift for your clients. When clients spend a lot of money with me, I like to buy them a gift at the end of our project together. And um, by asking this question, I've discovered a lot of things about my clients. And um, one of my clients really loved tequila, so I got her a tequila that I personally love. But I wouldn't do that for everybody because you know, not everybody loves tequila. So this is a good question to ask, not only when you go into designing the invitation suites, but if you ever wanna give them a gift. And lastly, we covered this already, but what, what's your budget? This is a question you wanna ask at the beginning before you even get together with them, so nobody wastes any time. But this is also an important question to bring up again when discussing the invitation suite because they might want handmade paper, but they don't have the budget for handmade paper. So this helps you to just really kind of rein in those types of things early so you're managing everybody's expectations.